Axe for Beat to Freyr, made by the elves. He must have left it here when he raced back to Vanaheim. What is this? A chart. of nightmares, in this case flares. Well, knowing the elves, there are probably more tributes to find. <laughs> no. Best we move on for now, brother. Don't think we have the right tools for this one. It's so tall. We came in from the top last time. I didn't realize all this was even down here. It's an older gate, built to promote cooperation between the elves. But it looks like it's been sealed for some time. I'll go first. Petraeus, let me know when I've reached halfway. So, uh, what's happening right now? This seal is meant to represent the balance of the realm when Freyr was here. Light and dark, working together in harmony. How's that look, Atreus? Good, I think. Father... Unfortunately I... for Alfheim, Freyr couldn't accept his sister's decision to marry Odin. He returned to Vanaheim and left this realm to its fate. To be fair, the Aesir did set him on fire that one time. Hmm. The door should have opened. Are you sure it's balanced? Yeah, but the realm isn't. Not anymore. Father, try pulling it the other way. Yeah, yeah, and here, you keep pushing forward. Fine work, Atreus. Shall we? What's a Dark Elf statue doing in the Light Temple? That's just how they looked before the Division. The Division? Yes. The Elves weren't always split between Light and Dark, you know. This statue depicts the Elves before the war, before they discovered the power of the Light. Solid light. Guess some things don't change. Yes. The stone briefly imparts a bit of light to your axe. That's useful. What's that sound? No sense in spoiling the surprise. I've never seen the Lake of Souls so volatile. Aye. Fimpel winter, you reckon? Of course. Making the light unstable. So the base of this light well, that's the Lake of Souls. Yes. After the creation of the Nine Realms, fallen souls began to gather down in those waters. When the elves discovered its potential, they built this temple to harness that energy. A smashing success, to say the least. Many of them became addicted to their newfound power. And thus, the Light Elves were born. Well done. 
Though I imagine our Light Elf friends will be less than pleased. Speaking of Light Elves... Let me try talking to them again. They Best may... just to let these two do their thing, brother. <laughs> Maybe you can throw those back at them! Left side, incoming! I have an idea to get us across. Lucky for us, swearing off violence doesn't mean we can't disfigure some architecture. This way. The shrine away. Kratos, where are you going? He's just looking around. He does this sometimes. Ah, a curious mind. Carry on. The temple looks so different than I remember. It was all broken and covered in hive stuff last time we were here. These elves use Alfheim's light to enhance the temple, and themselves by the look of it. They definitely look more dangerous than last time. Oh, those were just the foot soldiers. They'll get more dangerous the further up we go. Great. So if these elves use the light to build doors and make themselves stronger, what do the Dark Elves want with it? To return it back to its source. To them, the natural resources of Alfheim are sacred, none more so than the light itself. Aye, the Light Elf's success came at a terrible price. Alfheim's once lively <laughs> desert withered into a storm-ridden wasteland soon after the creation of this temple. Mumir, do you understand these poems? Oh, there's always meaning if you look hard enough, brother. and what you bring to it. The Twilight Stone didn't give you the right angle. Are you certain? a great idea oh there friends salutations we mean you no harm here get back Oh! <laughs> 
least I tried. I get it now. Why they keep fighting? Dark Elves want the souls and the light left alone. So the Light Elves want to keep using them. That's the long and short of it. Aye. So then, which side is right? Rarely is it so simple. And not our place to say. This is an Elven conflict. I said as much the last time we were in Alfheim. Right. They sure made a lot of these light doors. Fortifications. Aye, none too eager to let the Dark Elves run the roost again. Why not simply hold it in place? <laughs> Let's continue our ascent, yes. Right side! You're building quite the collection of poetry, brother. Why so surprised? My people are known for their culture. Not surprise. Esteem. I suppose I'll leave you to it. <laughs> on the other side. Jump. 
This mystic doesn't see us. Twilight stone on the ground. I wonder if we could use Twilight Stone against them. That's the wrong one. No. Another chest. He's getting the hang of it. I've never seen the light elves with so much control over this temple. That's on us. They must have anointed a new temple guardian. Spartal Yoffer's counterpart. The Dark Elf King. Yes, he's in the light now too. Timing must be precise. Continue up this way. Here they come. Do what you must. Fire! Throw your weapon at Bridges. Look at this statue. These crystals. I've noticed them on the elves as well. I wonder if this statue were to fall over the castle. Crystals still make light bridges. Now the light elves wear them. Smart. Almost. Allow me. I dare say he's beginning to enjoy the vandalism. Pretty soon he'll be laying waste to pottery. Shall we continue? Well, at look up. Feels even taller on the inside. Can't believe all this was down here. Take ball of light coming your way! 
Why must they insist on these frustrating tribes? You would know better than us, brother. I can't remember the last time I visited the Nords, nor do I wish to try. Keep at it, Kratos. Well done. Another light door. There's some twilight stone on that statue shield. But that angle isn't gonna work. You think there's any way to stop the elves from fighting each other? As they are not abandoned the realm, a lasting peace may have formed. But now... Can we really place all the blame on Freyr? This war started long before his time. But he had the power to heal this land and end the war, did he not? He made his choice. The wrong one. For Alfheim, perhaps. But not necessarily for him. Well, I suppose we're all entitled to walk our own path. 
regardless of where they can. I see. Do you still hear something wounded out there? I think so. It could just be the storm. Perhaps we can investigate. Once we've uncovered a mysterious seer's hidden prophecy. There, the central chamber will bring us to the top. Once we find our way past yet another light door. Facing the wrong way. Hmm. Maybe if we allow me to speak with them. The angle should work, Kratos. Your mother inside last time, but I can't anymore. Her soul is one with the light now, united by forces older than Odin himself. She is at peace, Atreus. I hope so. When father went inside the light, he said he, he... went inside the light of Alfheim? 
Yes. And yet here you stand, of sound mind and decidedly not incinerated. You must tell me, Kratos, what did you see? That memory is for me alone. But I felt only moments pass. Didn't feel like moments to me. I was trapped. Atreus overcame great odds to save me. One could but only imagine. Well then, Groa's triptych awaits. So, did you ever meet Groa? Many times. But she was plagued by constant visions, so... Conversation was... Difficult, to say the least. Father, she's... she's gone. Yes. Keep moving. We're almost there. Huh. They've changed some stuff. Last time, there was all this hive stuff up here. So many dark elves. I... All this time, I thought the dark elf came... I thought all the dark elves were... Tear? Yes? Did we help the wrong side? Hmm. Are you certain that's the right question? I... What's the right question? Is there a right side? Exactly. What do you think, Atreus? Is there a right side in this war? I... I don't know. Then perhaps you shouldn't pick one. is right there. Yeah, but there was a Nornier chest down here last time. <laughs> oh, if they moved it. There it is. Ah, you all made it. Welcome. Giants always did enjoy hiding their secrets in plain sight. Wait until you see this. Ah, yes. Here we have Groa's search for her missing husband. 
She was relentless in her attempt to find him. Meditated for weeks on end. Unfortunately, she found... something else. A vision of Ragnarok. Word of Groa's vision reached Odin. He sought her out, demanded a private retelling. Didn't like what he had, apparently. Ironwood? That's the... I don't know what that is. The mythical sanctuary for giants. Curious. So it's in Jotunheim? I know some giants thought so, but Ironwood isn't anywhere, lad. It's a concept, a metaphorical paradise. It's not real. Presumably, Groa requested her ashes be returned to Jotunheim, while her soul found peace in the light. Difficult to imagine Odin respecting those wishes. Hmm. The champion? I think it's supposed to be... me. You assume too much. Aye. Best not to read into these abstractions so literally. Prophecies are slippery by nature. Although, some are more obvious than others. Ragnarok. Aye. The end of everything. So this is it. There's nothing we can do to stop it. There must be a way. Why else is this hidden? Look, here. This is what we saw. It's you, fighting in Ragnarok. No. I don't... I can't. What's this then? That's new. Asgard is destroyed? But the other realms thrive? She did. <laughs> Odin's working off a false prophecy. <laughs> so then, we can win Ragnarok. We can beat Odin. We are not present in any of this. But that was Tyr leading the charge against Asgard. Plus, Hell's army was there, and the elves. Champion. Okay, whoever that is doesn't matter. But for the first time. We know something Odin doesn't. We just saw we can win. Tyr? I won't allow prophecy to define my choices. But, but we just saw No, him. Atreus. This is wrong. Come. There is much to discuss. can't stop Ragnarok, but we can win it. If Asgard is destroyed, Odin will not be the only casualty. There must be another way. So, what'd you see? A lot. Roa lied to Odin. Ragnarok isn't the end of everything. It's just the end of Asgard. Just the destruction of an entire realm, is it? To say nothing of its citizenry, its wildlife. Those ignorant and innocent of Odin's misdeeds. Enough. There is much to discuss once we are safe at home.
Huh. That might be my best piece yet today. Very good. Gonna keep it spatter-free this time, right? Kratos? Wear it with pride. May it strike true. And Atreus? Kratos? Do you believe in fate, Sindri? Oh, of course not. You think I'd wash my hands this much if I thought that what I do doesn't ultimately matter? There's only one thing with any say over how we live our lives, and that's us. <laughs> 